Okay, so uh, today we're going to be talking about credential representation uh, with SSI. My name is uh, Horatio. I work with the Kiva protocol team. Um, I'm also maintainer of the Ares Max project. Um, we're going to be discussing about, you know, like why we need to have credential representation for SSI, um, a solution to have a, a basic universal approach to do this so that we don't, so that we stop like working on this every time we start a mobile agent. So let's let's jump uh, right, right in. This, this is an example of the physical uh, cards that we are used to use. I'm sure we will have uh, like a, a few instances of, of this. They have like a, a couple of pros, you know, they're like easy to share on the physical realm. Uh, it helps create a consistency to the use of brands. Uh, it has some cons. Is they are like you know, easier to falsify uh, to falsify than if we're using like a self sovereign. But we already know that. The question is, you know, uh, every time we jump to have a, a mobile agent, uh, how can we have uh, something like easy to use like right away? Something like this, right? This is an, a, a wallet that uh, that I grew uh, last summer. You see, like each credential has his own branding. We don't have that uh, easy to use, and, and especially like we don't have a way to tell another agent, "Hey, I want you to render this credential that I just give you in a certain way." So it doesn't really feel like a real, like digital supply in terms of branding to the physical thing. Uh, I want to propose a solution for that using SVG because SVG is portable, it's already uh, easy to serialize. Uh, it's also human readable. If you are like a designer and engineer, it's easy for you to, to play with with a design. And um, it's already backed by a lot of tools. Uh, all of the agents that you can, I mean, all of the runtimes that, that you can think that you want to, to deploy uh, already support SVG. How are we, planning to do this. Let me show you an example here. Uh, this is like an a, a example of an SVG, a lot of like a design information, like colors. You can see my name here. If we change this and we have a substitution a, a strings, you can see how can we start like a, having some sort of like common format that is going to be rendered on demand in our own wallet on s or someone else uh, wallet app. Here's like a more like a complete example. This is how something that a designer will do. An engineer will kind of like substitute uh, uh, that text. And you can see, you know, it looks like a, exactly like a, like a, what, what the physical card would look like. And if we go back to that, uh, to that wallet that I mentioned before, you see it, it just fits right, right in. So now the question is, you know, like, what if you don't have time to do the branding, right? Like, like, is there something that could be a universal representation, even if you don't have design resources? Um, uh, let's go ahead and define how that, uh, what characteristic that that thing uh, may expose. We want to have something that is like industry wide that anyone can uh, uh, support by default is ready to you. So you, you don't have to worry about like writing support for that. It will be already provided for you. It will be good support accessible, uh, accessibility from the very be beginning. If someone has any disability, you know, like this should like a, a render in a way that it could like use the operating system uh, resources there. And that has only one uh, option for branding. Like if you want to add that, you should probably create a custom representation. Uh, and the main benefit of this is just reduce the time we're spending every time we, we create a credential. We try to solve a use case and we need to do this from scratch. This is like a, a basic example of uh, what we're thinking here. You know, like something that can tell you where where the credential was issued, the amount of field it has, and it shows a selection of this, of those fields. Now, how do we plan to like uh, to bring this to the community? 
Uh, we want to follow a library first approach, meaning that we want the representation uh, to be like a field that is easy to transfer as part of a connection that is easy to, to fetch from a centralized authority uh, if we go that way. And more important, we want it to be like very light in the code. Like for example here, this is like a, a on the an example of a summary app. This one what one uh, one component that has the a credential property and a template property. And you can see here that you know like we can actually support a, a web app even even for like a verification as well. So the rub so far and the next step. So uh, before I jump to comment like a. Uh, where to find this on GitHub, let me tell you a little bit about kind of like how this uh, became a thing. So somewhere in 2020, uh, we are here, we're implementing our first mobile agent, like we stumbled uh, upon this, like we were given a lot of design with several credentials and we're like, okay, you know, the best way to do this is to create something more like a format. Then we hosted a panel in IW and we confirmed a basic of use cases we kind of like a, a pinpoint, like say, uh, some ideas about how to uh, approach, like kind of like a start with distribution of this uh, for a mobile agent support. Um, the result of that is the presentation today. Um, uh, one week from now, we're going to be publishing the first uh, Nougat package for this, and that's going to be followed uh, with a React Native package. And um, I, I mentioned here, uh, the projects that we're going to be using to kind of like demo this. The first one is the Aries Max projects. Um, the second one is the Bifold agent that's based on React Native. So I cannot, uh, I cannot hear any of the attendees uh, now. I, th I think that's by design. Uh, if you go to this URL, you're going to see kind of like a placeholder read me. Uh, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you want to be part of, of using this from the very B, Beginning, I would love to talk to you. If you could create an issue and drop uh, your contact or like, you know, like uh, showing like a, a, some problems that you have around this, I will be reaching out to you soon. So thank you for that. Okay. So if, if we have a moderator there uh, that can provide some context, like how, how do we jump to the Q and A? Okay, so usually uh, one of the uh, of the questions that I get here is uh, how to, yeah. The, uh, the first the first question that I got uh, on IW here was how to have a I mean like a, like a, how to share this definition among a different agents I think uh, right now the main use case is to provide for the case of you know like a specific use case that people uh, need to uh, deal with their own uh, credentials right that's something that, that we have covered with this example that we show the next step would be to discuss with a few people in the community like the best way to do this in a way that it uh, also uh, remains true to the principles of SSI. Like for example, we uh, we have we have uh, thought about like kind of like a decentralized uh, certification authority where people like uh, propose kind of like certify. This is like the default design for this specific, specific type of credential. And then each agent will have a, some sort of logic to fetch this. And of course, if you don't have an, a specific, I mean, let's, let's say that you cannot reach that definition. You could always rely. Yeah, yes. Uh, so uh, Francesco asks, does the library adapt to different credential schema? So you can think of at the, okay, yeah. So so you can so you can think of, uh, of this process right as as basically merging an SVG with the metadata of a credential with that info. So it's going to adapt to you know like uh, to whatever credential you have there. 
uh, create an interactive card. I think uh, this is this is pretty interesting, especially for the default representation. Like uh, if you saw kind of like that default design, and let me let me show it here again. Yeah, like you can see here that. Uh, we don't have like that uh, much space to show more than three fields. Uh, this is this is something that we could definitely tackle with like also a default interaction there, especially on if you're like on the phone. If you could just like scroll like some sort of a gesture there, the way I, I see this happening is just provide a couple of a uh, kind of like access point that the developer of the mobile agent can expose. Like for example, let's say that you are just implementing a verifier a kiosk, right? People are not going to be touching your screen, but you can like trigger that uh, kind of that the uh, carousel effect with the credential. So yeah, yeah, and also uh, uh, down here uh, regarding the interactive car, the idea of this is kind of like create a kind of like the beginning of a uh, of reducing for good the forking of like this. Uh, uh, this process of like creating like new credentials UI um, just have something that that people can kind of like play with that share back to the community and then we could just kind of like pre-apply this process of like oh let's find like the good ideas put it in a way that is easy to mix and match and, and then rinse, rinse and repeat this my my guessing is that uh, at least but in my first experience building a wallet it took me like a whole week to set this up in a way that was stable so i'm guessing like if we could remove that time from uh, from every ssi project that would be a huge boost in productivity another another question uh that I uh, get uh, asked here is about the accessibility. I think this is this is a this is a, where it's nice the idea of having kind of like a centralized package because then we could like a, kind of like a, a use all the power of the community to provide a very good support. Uh, so when you drop your the component in an Android, right, it's it's just it's just it's just going to render with the necessary notations there and then once we have like a, a one implementation right it's, it's easy to just uh, to copy that and just worry about like your kind of like the specific use case of the new platform any other questions oh yeah yeah sure so the library, uh, like the first Nougat library, is going to be released uh, next Monday, and then uh, I'm going to be working on the on the React Native package uh, because this is like a SVG. In between those, uh, it's likely we will get uh, something in for HTML, like a like a React component. Uh, yes, uh, Paul says uh, so. So Paul. Uh, is asking, should cool a universal rendering be standardized in the context of Aries, etc.? Yes, uh, I think uh, we should. I think we could do it. Uh, I think this is like a, the first step to that, like uh, show the example and then, you know, uh, make sure that we standardize this in the spirit of SSI. We don't want to or, uh, kind of like over centralize this uh, to help our, des our decentralized uh, use cases. But yeah. Uh, Giacomo is asking how to ensure the SVG should be rectangles. Well, I think the the design of the SVG is responsibility of the of the person implementing the credential. Um, it should be the self, so their self interest that this is going to render to render well because this is a thought of, a, about a a card, right? Uh, we should uh, we likely are going to have some sort of like a basic uh, uh, check-ins when you are like in developer mode so that you could see a uh, like let's say for example if, if the final SBG doesn't satisfy the minimum size yes uh, yeah uh, so uh, 
So, so for example, let's say that the final that the final SVG is pretty small, right? That's something that we want to show a warning in developer time because uh, you know if you want to do a custom re representation, that is more like a little space. This is just like for the listing. This is the, the idea for this is to make it easy for you to have a, the equivalent of a physical car. Now, uh, Paul Wenzel is, is asking, do you already consider proof request renderings too? Yes. Uh, actually, I had uh, two colleagues that a couple of hours ago, they, they demo a framework that we have for creating like a wizards for SSI for both issuing and verifying. And they are going to be the clients uh, of the HTML version of this. Yeah, uh, Mendy Boomen is asking, where the representation will be defined? Credential definition, issue credential metadata, or predefined in the mobile wallet app? Yeah, uh, excellent question. So the idea is that you are going to, at the same time that, that you are like defining the credential definition, right? For the blockchain, you will you will do the, the SVG and package this uh, with with more metadata uh, for the for the for the for the rendering component to 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 render that. Uh, the idea right now is to just worry about the use case of like you are developing your own mobile wallet to uh, to support the case of like I have a wallet I know how to represent this wallet and sending this for example the verifier. What comes to mind is using uh, the same channels of Aries to send a custom message, and kind of like uh, provide some info and, and I mean some info to the to the other to the receiving agent, and then that agent can decide how to do it. Now, the the key here is kind of like support, right? Like how to how to come uh, how to provide this in a way that uh, that we could expect that a lot of people are going to support this. That this is uh, what is not clear yet. So uh, if you have ideas about how to ha how to handle this, uh, please uh, reach, reach out to me in the GitHub repo. Let me post that again. If people are just uh, joining in. Yeah, so uh, also, uh, Mendy, uh, when we release this uh, on Monday, uh, you are going to see this like working on the Aries Max uh, source code. So you will see an example of this on the on a wallet on, on a wallet app. So another question uh, that I have here that I have, I have been asked before is how to deal with different uh, screen sizes. Uh, let's say that you are in a tablet. So right now, uh, I think we have a good solution for the for something that looks exactly like a card. Um, I will wait for more feedback to the community to to suggest something to the contrary. And um, but I think that you know whoever the idea of this is kind of like a standardized something that uh, that is like a common problem that we have. If you have something specific, uh, it may be that we just create a kind of like um, a specific component to support uh, to support that use case, but it's but it's not going to be to be re receiving kind of like this like a standardized attention. So, for example, it won't it won't give you a accessibility a feature, but you will have to implement that. Any other any other questions? Uh, Bendy is, is asking is, is there is a way to personalize the representation from credential claims color or having a conditional rendering based on claim value? Uh, I haven't I, I haven't uh, thought of that. Uh, I think the the conditional stuff seems kind of tricky. Uh, because we're like building on top of things that are supposed to be immutable, right? Like once once they are in your card, you know, like in your in your mobile wallet, uh, you know, they're not supposed to change. Uh, I think like in this specific use case, I don't see why not you could uh, you could like receive this as part of like a hook or something like that. Uh, 
I mean, again, if you if you reach me out on on GitHub with, with this case, I mean, like gives you a like a, a better opinion there. Yeah, like, like for example, one way to see this actually is to have a is is kind of like a, having some sort of like a the responsive approach, and we just uh, the conditional is like right on top versus in the code. Like, I don't think it's a good idea to come uh, to add uh, to turn the SVG uh, template into like a von Neumann program. I think I think that could add like more more problems than what it solves. Okay, any other uh, questions? Okay, well, if there is a moderator here, uh, please, uh, please advise like the best, the best way to, uh, to have the presentation. I want to make sure we have time for the next person. Oh, yeah. So Paul Wentz asking, uh, are you working for Trinsic? Uh, no, I I work with the Kiva protocol team. Um, uh, I do I do know the the Trinsic team. Um, uh, I I I often uh, use them to connect to. Uh, I mean, uh, to have like a a clear way to issue credentials like uh, random forms so yeah i recommend them for that okay thank you thank you mac yeah i think uh, uh paul like uh, to give you like a more like a uh, more on my on my thought on your question i think uh if if you saw the presentation from my colleagues Michelle uh, and Nate Sula uh, yesterday, uh, we have a, a a wizard maker for uh, to create SSI uh, flows uh, using HTML and React components. Um, you could use that with Trinsic and this to provide basically a a web flow for verifications and just like render uh, more than the raw data of the client so you can provide a representation there so if 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 you're like actively uh, use intrinsic uh, we really want to talk to, to you Any other questions?
Okay, let's uh, wrap it up with four minutes to the finish line. Uh, it was very nice uh, talking to all of you, and I hope to, to connect with you after via GitHub. Take care.